Hey everyone, Ryan here. Have you ever been hit with that frustrating SIM not supported message on your iPhone or found your Android phone stubbornly tied to T-Mobile? I know how annoying that can be. It's like your phone is playing keep away with the freedom to switch carriers. That's why today we're diving into the nitty gritty of unlocking secrets for both Android and iOS devices. We're going to walk through some straightforward steps to break free from that irritating SIM lock on your T-Mobile phone. Whether you're new to this or a tech enthusiast, these tips will be a lifesaver. So grab your phone and let's jump right in. All right, before we dive in, let's get one thing straight. This info is only for the right reasons. It's for you if you own your phone and just want to switch carriers. We're not about doing anything shady, like messing with phones that aren't yours. Always stay on the right side of the law, folks. And don't worry, everything in this video is totally in line with YouTube's rules. Now, with that covered, let's get back to it. Here's a quick tip. The unlocking methods we discuss are primarily effective in developed countries. If these services aren't available to you, or you'd rather not use them, we have an alternative. Each week we offer 250 unlocks to our subscribers. To be eligible, simply give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment with your phone's make, like iPhone 13, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. By completing these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw. Don't miss this opportunity. To get started with Carrier Switcher, head over to their website, carrierswitcher.com. Once there, you'll see a green button. Click on it to begin the unlocking process. First things first, you'll need to provide your name and email address. Make sure you use a valid email, as this is where you'll receive a confirmation code. Once you've entered your details, the next step is to select the manufacturer of your device, like Samsung or Apple. The following step is crucial. Entering your device's IMEI number. If you're not sure how to find the IMEI on your phone, it's usually as simple as dialing star hashtag 06 hashtag or checking in your phone settings under about phone. After entering the IMEI, you'll be asked to confirm that you're complying with their terms of service. This includes ensuring the device you're unlocking isn't stolen. Once you've checked this, go ahead and tap continue to move to the next stage. At this point, you should see a notification that your unlock request is ready and you'll also receive a confirmation email. This email is important because it contains instructions and an access key. This key is what you'll use to start your order. The great thing about this access key is that it's not just a one-time thing. You can reuse it for unlimited downloads. Finally, to understand how to use the access key, simply follow the steps outlined on the page. These instructions are designed to guide you through the entire unlocking process. Removing a carrier lock from your phone can be done in a few different ethical and legal ways. One common method is directly contacting your carrier. Most carriers will unlock your phone for free if you've completed your contract or paid off your device in full. Just give them a call or visit their website and request an unlock. It's important to have your account information and device details handy when you do this. Another option is using a reputable unlocking service. These services can unlock your phone for a fee. Before choosing a service, it's a good idea to do some research, read reviews, and make sure they're reliable. Be cautious and avoid services that seem too good to be true, as they might not be legitimate. If you've bought a second-hand phone that's locked, it's wise to contact the original owner if possible. They can request the unlock from the carrier if they were the original account holder. For those who travel frequently, some carriers offer temporary unlocking services. This can be useful if you're going abroad and need to use a local SIM card. Again, contact your carrier to see if this is an option for you. Remember, the unlocking process can vary depending on your phone model and carrier, so it's always good to check with them for specific instructions. Following these steps ensures that you're staying within legal and ethical boundaries while unlocking your phone. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot to us. Also, if everything worked out for you, or if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. We love hearing from you and are here to help with any queries you might have. Stay tuned for more helpful content.